G'day everybody, welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're currently in New Zealand and we're checking out a garage full of cars that we don't normally associate with. Let's check it out. Yes, thank you so much for watching. My name's DJ and welcome to this episode of Automotive Carnage. Today, as I said, we are in New Zealand and we're checking out a very special garage of my mate, Guy Maxwell. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm Guy from The Choice Files, uh, my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, uh, DJ's here today. We've um, been talking online for a couple of years now and we've finally um, managed to link up and catch up. So it's been cool to have him here checking out the cars. So we'll get, bring you guys along and you guys can check out what we've got here and um, yeah, what, we've, what we're building on for the future. That's exactly right. And so, because we're in New Zealand, there's also a lot of Japanese stuff here. And there's not too much of the Australian stuff that you might be currently used to and it's definitely not rusty. No, well, <laughs> hey, my drift car's a little rusty, but we don't yeah, know we'll, about we'll, that. We'll get to that one later. Paint over it. <laughs> exactly. Paint over it. So, it's so um, what I want to do, bro, if we just go around, check out all your cars, man, because you've got some really sweet stuff here. Yeah, so um, I'm actually quite fortunate. My girlfriend is uh, car mad as well, so um, oh, sweet. she's got some sick cars. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is her S13. Um, it's just a um, S13 coupe, and it's got uh, just a standard, oh, well, pretty standard, I, I would say. Um, SR20. Dude, that's looking really nice with the two-tone paint on that, the white and the black. Yeah, so it's, Oh, um, dang, but that red is beautiful. Yeah, so it's been um, painted with a nice flake through it. In the sun, it come, it pops real well. Um, but it is, um, yeah, so we've got to get the uh, rocker cover painted and stuff like that. But oh, it's yep. just like, yeah, 350 wheel. Um, Sweet. It's an S15 motor, S15 trans, so it's got a six-speed in it. Yep. Um, how do you go after six peaks? I hear they're fairly weak in like first or second, is it? Um, to be honest, well, this obviously I don't th technically thrash this too hard. <laughs> um, it's been fine for me. I was scared that like a six speed shifting it, yep. you'd always miss third because you'd go like yeah, yeah, yeah. Third. Yep. I've done it a couple of times in this, to be honest, but <laughs> this one's not so bad. Like right, I've yep. driven a CD09 and they're like pretty tight. Oh, and you always cool. go yep. second or fifth. So yep. no, it's good. Um, it's nice with the six speed at cruising. Like, yep. um, just gives you that low RPM just to cruise at 100 or whatever. So um, that might be a good idea then for my S13 being on the long open roads in the outback. Yeah, a six speed you might be man, like, the way to um, go. And and ideally like a three five diff. Like, oh right, um, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, we they're just or I think this I'm not sure what diff this one has in it, but it's I think it's it would feels like it's around like a three seven or something. And yeah. it's um yeah, I'd feel that would be the way to go, especially on big open roads like yeah, man, um, big straight roads where we are. Yeah, exactly. But you know, so they don't know what corners are. Over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just straight. <laughs> straight. So um, so yeah, no, it's a good fun car. It's a nice street car. Um, we've just done a bit of a facelift on it um, for her. Put some new headlights in it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And oh, you got um, the bricks in there. Yeah, it's got bricks now. They're uh, overly priced, but um, I can't believe how much they're worth now, man. Yeah, it's crazy. And then like we, I might just save mine for my super fund. I got her some um, some goodies for Christmas, She's oh, a new look steering at that. wheel and a and a shifter. Just um, yeah, yep, she, she likes that stuff. And I need to get her some new seats and whatnot. But it's yep. um, it's just a good car. Oh, that, that's um, cool, man. That, that that's we absolutely use awesome. Um, yeah, the team did a bit of an engine. Uh, they did the um, alternator belt yesterday because it was shredded. Because um, yeah. <laughs> say I, no more. Say did, no more. I did some things. So. <laughs> belt shred for one reason only. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> All right. um, so what we've got inside here, man? So we've got. Um, so originally these two Altezas here were uh, bought by a friend of mine and we were building them into drift school cars. So we were, um, because I'm a drifter and he was a, he's a drifter, we were like, sweet, let's do a school that we can teach people to drift. Sweet, cool, Fair a couple of Altezas yep. with um, some 3SGEs in them, some Beams yep. motors, good, good starting cars. We welded the diffs, put a half cage in them, put bucket yep. seats in them and whatnot. Um, but then unfortunately the um, local track that we were gonna do it at got sold. Oh so no. Then we, so then we ended up, um, yeah, with these obsolete cars, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we've kept this one here. Yep. And then my brother-in-law has bought that other one, and he is just going to do that up into a, a bit more of a drift car. It's got a bigger lock kit. Yeah, um, sweet. He's painting it white, I think. Um, oh, okay, go for and, it. Yeah, he, he's just going to do it up how he wanted it. Yep. And then, but we've just left that one there. Is stop, it possible to pop the bottom of one of these? So I'll show the people yeah, what a Beams engine is, because these aren't your Lexus IS200s that we get in um, Australia. These are... JDM Atezas, so they come with a slightly different engine, which is, in my opinion, a better engine than the old 1G. How are these ones this one's a little bit there. That's the problem having so many different cars, is everything's slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just a Beams. Yeah, 3SGE. 
Yeah, so these are um, like Yamaha heads and stuff. Like yes, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Beautiful so engines. So they got like dual VVTI, so they rev to the moon. Um, yeah. I think this one revs out at like eight and a half or something. Yeah, they're normally about there. Um, Little sounds, two liters. Sounds really good on the limiter. Oh yes, I have um, seen a video of that on um, Close Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> had, a, had a bit of fun last night and over New Year's and stuff. So it's um it's a good car to good car to use. I don't know yep. why that's going to happen, but. Uh. But yeah, they're just a fun car, a beta really, like everyone can have a drive. Yeah, and well, that's the thing too, it's not overly uh, powerful, it's just a standard engine in there, so yeah, get anyone jump in there and yeah, have like, a learn, so, practice. So this one here is a factory automatic one. Oh right, yeah. Uh, and then that one there is a factory manual one, so the manual yep. ones I believe have titanium valves, so they got a little, oh, bit, okay. a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one is still a little honey if it rains, yep. like it did last night, you get like um second gear and you just yep. do what you want so and definitely great. an extra 50 horsepower there yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> awesome it feels like it's yeah feels like it's a thousand in the rain so that's it yeah it's good it sounds good um well when it's on the limit it sounds good <laughs> that's um, fantastic just cut the exhaust off and, and <laughs> away we go um we'll skip this one for now but we'll yeah we'll come back to this side because there's something special going on with that one that's just beautiful um, but this is going to be my personal favorite yeah. i don't know why but <laughs> growing up in new zealand there was two cars i really didn't like there was the Ferro and rx7s but now it's all I want. Yeah, like yeah, it's opposite, yeah. Because <laughs> there's none in Australia. Now I want a Safiro and I want a Rotary. Yeah, it's funny how yeah, not many, not many of them around, eh? So, um, so yeah. Because you were crashing them into trees back in the day, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it was paddock bashing. <laughs> but yeah, so this one is a, um, a RB25. So it's um, actually the original motor, original setup that I had in my S13 comp car. Oh right, yeah. So it's a 360 kilowatt. So it's like 480 horse. Oh, um, enough yeah, to get up and boogie. Yeah, Series 2 RB25, just a Garrett Turbo on there, um, IMR manifolds, yep. um, stock bottom end. Um, Sweet. Just, yeah, just pretty just basic really, runs a Link ECU, yep. um, like all the other cars. That is just a nice little tidy combo. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and unfortunately it was suited for like everything that it is, but yep. I let that lapse. Oh, I guess it. Don't really care about that, <laughs> but um, if you come on this side, you've got... Um, I mean, it's not this intended purpose to be suited than legal now, is it? No, nah, who cares now? But yeah, so this one has um, actually, we made this one into a drift taxi um, uh -huh. a few years ago now. So yeah, it's got a uh, four seats in it so we can take more people for rides because at the events that I run, um, you know, I've got a drift car that's only two seater, so me and one yep. other. But it's yep. like, well, let's make a car that we can take more people out so, yep. so more people at once can enjoy it. So. Yeah, and it's so fun. that's worth mentioning as well is that guy actually runs some of the largest i say the largest events in new zealand um, yeah. RV Union, street fighters um yeah aussie assault aussie assault that was the other one um, yeah so yeah auto tomorrow which is a japanese only event yep and um and yeah it's just good fun and carnival which is an all-in one carnival, so we'll definitely yeah. have to get you back for oh carnival like sounds that. Sick, so you yeah. guys can just come and enjoy these cars you can drive this like I everyone see. this is the car that everyone just drives now you've had some pretty impressive names in this car haven't you yeah in the so, drift world well we were um we've had um a mate from down south alex pillier he did a competition in this thing like it was it's a four-seater drift taxi fun car yeah and he put this thing through hell to try and make it competitive <laughs> and he did really well it was, it was very impressive yeah um, unfortunately with the you can see the o on the windscreen there um jimmy oaks he was actually meant to come over for drift week um, ah, he, right. um unfortunately uh, didn't have the COVID jab and because in new zealand you had to have it uh, to come back you. then when that was happening in drift week yeah um, in new zealand so unfortunately he didn't come out um but ho ho hopefully in the future we can make that happen and then i've also had uh, Chris Rudnick and Will from um, Rice Miata channel yep. um, on YouTube. They um, they came over and did drift week with us, and he um, jumped in the back and took him for some rides and stuff, and he loved it and thought it was great. So yep. um, yeah, yeah, awesome. A few other people have driven it. Like I just let all my mates drive it, and all my crew guys. <laughs> like, doesn't really matter. It's yep. just a good car to thrash. It's lasted. I've had it. Touch wood. I've had it. Like this setup, the motor and gearbox and stuff like four or five four years maybe and yep. there's nothing happened to it um touch wood it's um it's been a pretty reliable setup so no nah, that's yeah, it man that's don't good. don't overstress the engine and you can last for ages I yeah 100 yeah. percent um but yeah so but actually quickly speaking of rx7s we've got this one over here that i'll move the out of the way. i mean you got all the little toys eh um unfortunately <laughs> this isn't actually well this is mine this is, <laughs> this is the rig um, <laughs> it's a pet rig but yeah so this is um, a friend of mine Josh is, um, he's actually from Norway. He lives over in Perth. Yep. But this is his RX-7. Damn, um, the bounce on that, nice Gilmore drive. Yeah, so he's got, a th it's just a 13B uh, Green Brothers built motor. 
Um, he's had it for multiple years. But yeah, he lives over in um, oh, yeah. at Port, he- Port Hedland, I think it is. Oh yeah, up um, north there. Yep. Somewhere up there. So yeah, he um, he's hardly back. So he's hopefully coming back in February. So we um, we gave it a good good wash the other day and. Um, you know, took it for a run up and down the road. What's that? Is that power steering? Yeah, electric power electric steering. Electric power steering, so yeah, cool. Same as my car, yeah. Yep. Um, mine's, not, not, mine's not in my car. So is it street or drift? Nah, pure drift. Pure drift, oh, okay. Pure dr- well, he wants to actually make it into a track car more than anything. Like, yep. because drifting is so expensive and the car is so expensive to run, yep. he's like, well, actually, it, it'd be more fun to make it. It's, like, it's got the lock kit and it's got all, everything it is for drifting. Yeah, yeah. But you can convert them into track cars very easily by just an alignment. Yeah, so, fair enough. Um, so that'll be a lot more use, user friendly for him, I guess. Ooh. You know, whereas when he comes back in, in February, he normally just does like one event, which is Rotary Reunion, which is my event. Yep. He'll do that event, and then there'll be nothing else drifting wise. Yeah, yeah. So he'll, and, but at the track, they've normally got like track days, like grip days. So he's like, well, I might as well make my car usable sure. for that. Yeah, so absolutely. I can actually enjoy it more and get more out of the car. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we've, um, we did an eight hour race in the CEF one day. Um, it was just a, an eight-hour endurance lemons race kind of thing like you get to take, <laughs> take it like a ship box kind of thing and yeah, like, oh yeah. we need some more cars and i was like well can we do it in my car it's like three times the power of any car that we <laughs> but you know and we just had a ball yeah, um, yeah. we got smoked because we were not prepared like <laughs> oh um, really we, we had to do tire changes because we were just going through them oh um, extra power yep. you know and then like we the power steering caught on fire and blew that up <laughs> so we ran for no with no power steering for the next seven hours yep um and we blew an axle, we blew a diff. <laughs> like, the car was just not ready for that kind of hammering. Oh, wow. And there was guys in, like, Levins and Altezas and Currens and, like, yeah, these yeah. little cars that were just lapping Primeras and stuff were smoking us because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they were prepared. Like, we were yep. just going way too hard yep. and cooking the brakes, cooking everything. So doing a race like that hard for that long just wrecks everything. So oh, absolutely. It was, it was a ball. Like, we, yeah. had a, we had a good time. No, that's cool, but man. That's what we might turn, turn one of those Altezas into, like, a bit of a Lemons car yep. um, for... They do it 24 hours at Hampton Downs. Um, 24 hours, right here. Yeah, all through the that night and intense, stuff. So yep. that'll be hilarious to do. I think you got to do like with four people. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be good for us to do that. Time. Um, we might, we might get into something like that maybe. Or yep. Just to use a car, you know. Like, yeah, exactly. We don't have to have all just drift cars because yep. there's only a certain amount of drift days. So yeah, you want to have cars that do more things. But yeah, that's it. Um, See, go have cars that do more things. Hence why I've got 20 of them yeah. to do <laughs> a different task for every different kind of road. Yeah. See, there's, there's soundness in my knowledge. <laughs> um, <laughs> Craziness. Yeah. So we've got, um, so this is my competition car. Um, it looks like not much right now. Yeah, man, it's what's a, going on? What's going on? It's an S13. Um, it's an 88, so it's not quite an old one. Oh, right, one um, of the original, yeah. Yeah, it's had some big crashes, and we've like, yeah, tube fronted it and everything. Uh, it's got an this FDF, is, Yeah, FDF some FDF pretty kit. serious kit in this one, man. Yeah, so they, um, FDF out of Canada. Yep. Um, yeah, they bring that in, so it's, uh, the size of the boom. Brakes so on it. It's got um, R34 GDR brakes. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, um, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're pretty good. And then, um, yeah, it's just got a, a built RB30 with a 26 head. So it's got yep. a um, forged bottom end. Um, and then it's got a Calford catalog in the head. So everything, Excellent. everything's as good as it can be. Yep. It's got Alice coils up there. This is all loose because it's not running because we've yep. missed something. We've just put it all the engine. We've just got everything all back together. And something's missing. It's not starting. And yeah. We're very frustrated and we've been up on it for a while, so um, yeah, it's a good car, yeah. um, just a big whole set, um, HX40 there. And this one's doing how much horse on this one? Uh, this car runs about 750 horsepower Far at the out. wheels. That's enough to get up and boogie alright. Yeah, yeah, so it um, definitely gets a wheel going and yep. um, yeah, it's good, it's got a Jericho dog box behind it, runs Sweet. off a Link Fury ECU, um, and yeah, we just have a good time. Oh, you got all the good gears in this one, man. Yeah, it's um, it's not bad. Like, there's definitely certain things we could could improve on. Um, but yeah, yeah oh, plexiglass on the yeah, outside. Yeah, because I smashed them, so I was like, well, it's cheaper to buy. Those <laughs> made. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got um, a link dash, and we also got uh, we're sponsored by a place called Thrash Garage. Oh, this is awesome. So, so that we've got um, our custom um, own steering wheels made yep. for a seven two motorsport. So, Which um, is your team name, yeah? Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, I've got a buddy of mine, uh, Ra. He, um, we thought, well, okay, we, he, he already had his car going and stuff. He was already competing, and I was helping him out and stuff. And then I was like, oh, I want to kind of compete. Yep. And then this car kind of evolved. A friend of ours, Nick, we cut the back off, cut the front off. Did I, I did cry when I watched those videos. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like, but it had so many dents in it. This car used to be yellow, uh, yep. much like the boot there. That the boot. Hence the Big Bird logos. Yeah, it used to be called Big Bird. <laughs> um, so we kind of kept that with us and. Um, 
yeah, we just thought, well, let's make a bit of a team. And yep. we, so we ran 7-2 Motorsport, which was Raz title, I guess, yep. um, before, before I came along. And then, yeah, we built these cars side by side. He's got a S15 with a 2J in it. So um, has some serious kit too then. Yeah, so he's got billet FDF in the front. Um, I've got billet FDF in the rear, so, so this yeah, is- Yeah, check out the thickness of these blooming knuckles, man. Yeah, so it's good grunty stuff. You know, that is take the huge. Hit, uh, which we found out last year, and it's um, it's adjustable, everything, so. Well, actually, that's, that's worth mentioning too, is on this side, you say, you did take a hit into a concrete barrier at, up in Auckland, wasn't it? Yeah, Mount Smart. So, Mount yeah, Smart track. Mount Smart, I, chickened out and got off the gas and ended up on the wall and so this car was <clears throat> so this car was actually like up on two wheels that hit the concrete barrier that hard yeah, it actually the whole thing came off the ground oh, it was all four it was it slapped, yeah. yeah and then that's pretty much it got just a, bent that got a bent toe arm and a bent and um brake bracket <laughs> bracket <laughs> yeah that's it that, that's a testament to that gear man that is pays to get the good shit yeah it was yeah I, like when i crashed i got out of the car and was like nearly crying because i was like okay my season's over like i've yep. wrecked this car shit everything's happened um actually speaking of uh, this is what happened oh here we go so when we hit the wall it actually ovaled the hole out oh wow and ruined all the front so the front hit but it didn't yep. break anything it just broke the wheel but yep. yeah we um the boys got it going and we um that was a mad to, hustle watching you guys all yeah, play that up man that was both cool sides. <laughs> But it oval. It's like my kind of welding. <laughs> yeah, it oval the holes out at the at the track gasless mig. Um, yep. And we got back out there and um, yeah managed to get fourth at that event. And then we went on. We left the car pretty much as it is. We had yep. to weld the strut tail back in because the strut tail had moved so much. Yep. So we re welded all of that and then um, yeah we managed to um, yeah get we went to the last run at Bay Park. The chassis still bent like under here you can see. Oh, oh damage, yep, a few creases in there. All yep. the damage and stuff like that. Oh, it's all peeled wow. away. Uh, not going to try to straighten it out anymore? Uh, no, nah, because um, realistically we've run out of time and it's simply... Well, I mean, that's pretty it, much just there to hold panels now, isn't it? Yeah, really. Like, this is strong yep. enough. It's got a cage. Everything... It, all that together. lines up still and nicely. Everything, everything's adjustable, so you can just align around it to make it <laughs> kind of square. Like, it'll yeah, look yeah. crooked, but it'll, it'll drive good. So, yeah. Oh, um, awesome. That's what we did at Bay Park. You know, we went to the final round, yep. top qualified, and then ended up winning the event because I didn't really care because I figured out that... If I hit the wall, I could handle it. So yep, just keep on going. Just ride the wall yep. and just keep doing that, and yeah, managed to get the win. So yep. oh, that's um, fantastic. Yeah, hopefully we can carry on next season with um, with those kind of uh, results. You know, that is absolutely awesome. Some great blooming workmanship in here, man. Yeah, so the, it's got a uh, rear mount radiator. Oh, so um, and something that I feel is worth mentioning too is last year, as you, I think you mentioned it, was your first year competing, and you got fourth overall. Yeah, yeah. Which so, is an um, absolutely amazing feat. Uh, yeah, it's my first full season, and we managed to um, yeah. We were six points off uh, third for the championship, which was a bit of a surprise for us. Um, yeah. Especially building a car. We finished the car on the Friday of qualifying at round one. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we like, were working on The boys did an all-nighter multiple nights that week. Yeah. And the night of the event, they did an all-nighter, brought it to the track. I drove to the track and had a sleep um, <laughs> so I could have some sort of function. Um, yep, happening. absolutely. So, Makes sense. Um, but, yeah, it was a good, good season. And then hopefully, yeah, now this year we can... Um, we've had a year of de developing the cars. Hopefully everything just works now and we can actually yep. just go and drive, not have to worry about testing yeah, exactly. at the track. Because we didn't even test at all. We did nah. five, there was five rounds last year. I drove this car six times. Yep. One was at another event halfway through the season. So like it was like, we didn't test at all. We just simply had to drive and, and figure it out as we went. So yep. it was good. But yeah, it's oh, got fantastic. like all the link sensors in the back. Um, yeah, all your radio in that back here, fuel yeah. cell. Yeah, so it's got a fuel cell here. It's got AccuSump. Um, my fuel pump's down here. Um, header tank for the radiator because the radiator's back here. Yep. And, um, yeah, you can kind of see everything. That is. Under there. So and I might just insert a clip actually of you doing your victory burnouts to yeah. how awesome that blooming pipe sounds. Yeah, yeah. That's a good the, sounding the car. The exhaust sounds good. It's um, yeah, just a big four inch oval. Yep. Straight all the way through. Like there's nothing in it. It's just straight <laughs> pipe, stainless. So it's, That's um, sweet. it's a good car. It sounds great. So yeah. That's very cool. So you're obviously going to get because you're blooming damage this horrendously doing your victory skid mm. so you've got all new panels here yep i think you know good all my cars low you might go yeah, yeah, right hey. there maybe oh hey, yeah well maybe? Uh, we have been talking so it's, um, <laughs> yeah it's cool so i think mean, i'll just let the cat out of the bag that um yeah dj is going to give us a hand this year and um just support us from over the ditch and um yeah man. yeah it's, it's awesome to that's have someone so that's cool. doing the same kind of thing as us but kind of different like it's we're so different we're still playing with cars similar, at the end of the day similar thing yeah, yeah it's a big circle so yeah. um yeah, and hopefully you can come out sometime next year and we can take you for some rides or whatever and yep. um, 
yeah, get, get you out in the drift car for once. That's it. No, for me, it's just awesome watching Guy do his event, um, his championship last year, and just watching his determination and blooming grit to, to get fourth overall in your first year, I think is absolutely awesome. So, yeah, happy to help out and right. jump in the team. And, Hey, mates helping mates, is, you're good guys, so. Yeah, I right, appreciate it, bro. Like, you know, it's, um, and that's what it's all about, you know, everyone is helping each other out and like, can't do it without my crew and the boys, are, you know, like. Absolutely, right man. Right now it's like New Year's, it's the holidays and everything. Yeah. But we've been down here every day. They've been like, hustling, my, my man, mates, watching the videos. Yeah. have been here, like Marsh and Dana especially, been down here every day. Yeah, even if it's a couple of hours, we just try yep. and do as much as we can. It took us like two or three days to put this whole thing back together to where it is now. Um, it's not, that's all right. Yeah, it's fiberglass and doors like that. That yep. stuff that, like is easy to put on. It'll yep. take an hour or so. And, um, and obviously a cable that's stopping us from running. Yeah, <laughs> that's also something missing somewhere. Missing. So something's missing here. Nah, so we'll have to fantastic. Out. Okay, well there you go, guys. A simple little. I think it's our first time we've done a kind of garage walk around, and I really am impressed by these vehicles. Obviously, I grew up with JDM stuff, so being back here, especially when the world's going so JDM mad and the price is going absolutely crazy. <laughs> You've got a, quite a nice little haul in here, man. Yeah, no, we're doing all right. Um, yep. We've got a few other things on my channel that we're going to be releasing throughout the year as well. Yep, Hopefully definitely. Kind of so, saying that, it. jump over to the Choice Files on YouTube. Check out Guy's channel. And um, if you're into drifting or just into these sort of vehicles, um, pretty easy go. Yeah, Cheers, I hope man. to see you guys Thank you very much. Thanks, Eats Bro. Good to Cheers. see you. Safe travels <laughs> home. And uh, yeah, sure. we'll see you next time. We'll hopefully come over and see you guys. I think it's time to go kick his ass on the luge. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs>